Hey everybody, it's Casey with Lemon Jeopardy Shop. How are you guys today? Hey, Dawn. Dawn, your comment just came over, but I can't find the live. Oh, there we go. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Lucy. Oh, let's mute this. Hold on. We're going to get feedback for just a second. Muting. There we go. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Sunshine. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny with the beard and then Johnny Lynch. All right, I'm gonna leave that right there. You guys, I have this crazy idea to make a Reese tonight. What do you guys think about that? I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's just try it anyway, right? <laughs> um, I got this really cute sign from um, Personalize It by Pam and I've had it forever because I ordered it forever ago. And hi Maggie, hi hubby. Um, and I, so I ordered it from her from forever ago and I was like, oh, I got to do something with this. I got to do something with this. And then today I found a grapevine sitting around. So I was like, oh, let's do it. So love it when you find stashes, right? So, well, crazy has been my, hey, um, I tried to go watch your live and, um, I couldn't see what you were talking about, but you know what I'm talking about is lucky that I wasn't there when I was on because I would have totally sucked in for you. So I'm thinking about using these ribbon combos. Um, and then I might throw this one in just to give it a little bit of a pop, but we'll see. But my sign is darling and it's perfect because you can have it up all summer long. So the sign looks like this. I'll call you ladybug. You handled it great though, just saying, from watching the replay, you handled it great. So here's my sign, it's from per Personalize It by Pam, and it's got some sunflowers on there, it's got an American flag, let me see if I can, Woo! sorry guys, my phone just fell over, there we go, alright, super cute, right, so. Um, and then by the way guys, if you want to get messages from my bot, if you guys type in live, love, or alert, you guys will be notified. Um, I don't always do the bot though, but I, most of the time I go live on um, Tuesdays and Thursday nights. So I'm going to do, well I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with this because I loved it so much, but I think I'm going to do a simple read tonight, which is fine because some people just like that simple stuff and I have a ton of sunflowers. So I figured... Um, we'll make a couple bows and maybe do some sunflowers in here um, and then go from there oh man so we will do that okay Carol have a good night so yep this should turn out pretty cute so I think what we'll do is we'll go some sunflowers in here um, and then go that route. I'm going to give this guy a little bit of a, ouch, a little bit of a haircut. Somebody was talking about how awful their lives are. And I said, you know what? It's nothing compared to mine because I'm always getting hurt in mine. And I said, and anybody that watches will tell you I'm always getting hurt. I always burn myself. I'm always doing something, something. Hey, Anne. Thank you. So, and I love these leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these leaves. So we'll just get started. I'm just going to start cutting these. And then we'll go from there. 
And I'm thinking about just placing these around for right now. I'll glue after I get it figured out how I want to lay it down there. So. How's everybody's what how's everybody's holiday did you guys all have a good holiday our um uh friends that used to live with us when they were building their house they came over for a barbecue and their dogs came over i seriously miss their dogs so much do you guys remember my furry babies that would be in all my old lives they're not mine but i totally claim them because i love them so much but so then they came over and we all just hung out for a little bit which was so much fun and then we played some cornhole, and I still got my cornhole skills, just saying. And then, so yeah, so it's been pretty cool. Been, it's actually been a very good week. I, yeah, it's been a very good week for the most part. And it's only going to get better, right? Positivity is key. All right, so I think we're gonna do like three. I like stuff in threes. So I'm thinking if we do like a bunch of them right here, like a bunch of sunflowers like this, right? And then if we, where'd our sign go? The only thing is I left my wire upstairs. No, I didn't, I brought it down. You guys, I brought my wire downstairs. We're good. <laughs> um, so I was thinking Oh yeah, all the time, Mary. I actually have a garbage bag full of leaves. So. You know what, Rachel? I was so jealous of your vacation. My husband was just there for a business trip and he said Mall of America was so cool. So I was pretty jealous when I saw that you were going there or that you were there. And I really wanted this sign to hang like flatter and it's not going to. So I think I'm just gonna angle it, but I think it'll still look really cute. I might even no I'm gonna put it over here like this so we're gonna wire it right here on the sides and then what we'll do is we'll stick some sunflowers around here hello from Ohio So what I'll do is I'll glue this back on too, but we're gonna turn it down just a little bit. So we'll put that like right there. I have little American flags. Maybe we should throw some of those in there. And I have bees too, a little, a few more bees. And I have some greenery if we need to throw it in here. I'm not too sure yet though. We'll see what happens here. So something like this, maybe we can do a bow here and a bow here. I love grapevines. Does anybody else love grapevines? I have never been on an airplane. Can you believe that? Never, never. These, these sunflowers are so awesome. They bend really good. Hey, Miss Avery. Mom, Avery. I have to tell your friend something. Oh, no. No. What are you going to tell him? Guys, guess what? We had a mouse in our house, but guess what we did? We got rid of it real quick. Where am I? You're on this one right now. A long time, and I don't always, like, they go so fast sometimes, too, and then there's a delay between the comments and your live, so sometimes you miss out on things, but as long as you're talking and, like, keeping conversation, your guests, when you when you do your Facebook Live, uh, the people that are watching, they should be able to communicate with each other. Mom, um, is you'll, my chick waiting? Yes, it is. Really? Yeah, it is. Why do you keep picking at that? I told you to stop picking at it. Okay, I'm going to go get something. Okay, are you coming back or are you staying upstairs? I'm coming 
now. Are you going to be nice? Yeah. Okay. No, she scratched herself today in the cheek, and she's been picking at the scab. And so now it's bleeding again, so now I told her to go get something. She will not ask for a snack. We have seriously, I think we've almost got that nipped in the butt, if you can believe it or not. So I'm just going to twist this wire on here. She's going to come back, guys. Yep, I've never been on an airplane. I'm just a little scared. Everyone says it's easy, but we all have our fears. Mine is the fear of the unknown, what I don't know. <laughs> all right, I love this wire. You know, Johnny, the hardest part well, for me on life is, is attaching bleeding? the signs with everyone watching. Oh, my cheek bleeding. Right here, do you want to put a band-aid on it? We should just go get some of the deal sporin and then um, put a band-aid right on here? it. Right here? Yeah, exactly where your finger is. Some, somehow I keep picking up this. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, I missed that comment. Dang it. Hold on one second. got to scroll up. Hi, Hi, first time watchers. My name's Casey from Little Mama. Jewelry Shop. This is my daughter, Avery. <laughs> I was in my 30s before I got on a plane this one. Airports are not fun. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, Mommy, especially my I airport. Give myself Under a construction. What? Can I give myself a band-aid? Um I have one in that kit somewhere in my little my my white thing. Wow. Mommy, my has to clean up your costume. A lot. I know, I need a vacuum in here. Maybe we can do it tomorrow. I have so much going on tomorrow. Maybe we might have to wait till we get back. I just stepped on a pokey thing. I'm sorry. It's okay. I sat on one, if that makes you feel any better. Huh? I sat on a pokey. <laughs> Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt. I'm mad. Not bad, it just hurt a little bit. Mommy, is this on? Yes, this is on. This one's on. Ooh, I don't like that one. I love this one. Why do you like that one? Because I can not burn myself on this one as bad. Mom? <gasps> what? I just dropped it on my foot! Oh! See, guys, I always burn myself. Never fails. Always burn myself. And I just about did it again. Mommy. But yeah. you know. <laughs> again? I need to stop touching these things. I know. Dawn only watches so she can make fun of Avery and all her snack breaks. That's so funny. Mommy, the first time I suggest doing a short. Mommy, Disneyland from Utah, on. maybe an hour. Um, the first time I'm flying, Mom. it's going to be three hours long. What? Is Lisa on? No, I think she's in bed. It's late there. Hi, Anne from Jacksonville, Florida. Mom, hey, where, Sandy. Where's the, where's hey, the white man? White book right here in front of your face. Can you stop, please? You don't need to put a band-aid on your face. It'll, ow, you're right. Those do hurt. It'll just hurt when you peel it off. Don't put a bandaid on there. We'll put some medicine on it in just a minute. Okay. okay. Can I go with Sophia in the living room? No. Mm. Why do you have to go watch Sophia in the living room? What's wrong with watching Nina's World up in your bedroom? I just want to watch Sophia. You are such a pain in my rear. Can you turn it down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this almost fell on me. Girlfriend, can you come say goodbye to everybody so they know? Bye, guys. This way, at the red light. Bye, everybody. Oops, I'm gonna go watch the beer now. Say see ya. See you guys. See you guys. They say bye. Huh? They all say bye. Okay. Quietly watch Sophia. Don't turn it up too loud. Okay. I'll be at fourteen. Like, like twelve. How about I go to six? That's, you won't be able to hear it. Why don't you just do 12 like I said? Okay, I'll do 12. Okay.
What is 12 o'clock? A 1 and a 2? Amen, yep. She's a cute. She's a hoot. I will tell her you guys all said bye. She will love it. She wants me to send her to YouTube camp. And I was like, what is YouTube camp? And apparently it's something super cool. And I'm like, I am not sending you to YouTube camp. <laughs> and she saw it from Ryan's toy review. Does anybody else's kids watch Ryan's toy review? I was like, what the heck is all this about? I kind of laughed. I thought it was really funny. Well, that didn't work out like I wanted it to. Hey, Angela! Alright, so I'm just going to bunch these little flowers together here. And I don't think I glued those ones yet. No, nope, I didn't. Alright, so we got our sign on here, and then I'm just going to take these flowers. Let me grab a okay, stick really quick. I bought these glue sticks from Amazon, and let me just tell you guys, they are seriously the best glue sticks I've ever had. Other than the fact that it freaking hurts when they burn you, but it's really, they really are the best ones I've ever had. I used to use Gorilla Glue, and now I switch to these. They love it. I'm going to put this one up just a little bit like that. Does anybody have any fun vacations planned this summer? We're leaving for Montana on Friday. I'm so excited. My cousin's, my last cousin is graduating high school. I just can't believe it. I feel, I don't know. And then I started bawling because she called me and was like, hey, can you come down early? And I said, why? And she's like, well, I really want you to do my hair for graduation. And I just started crying on the phone. And she's like, are you crying? And I was like, no, because <laughs> she knows I'm a baby. I'm a big old softie. Especially when it comes to her. So, I'm gonna do her hair for her and get her all ready for graduation. So, I'm pretty excited. Alright, we're gonna use some bows now. What do you guys think? And then we'll fill in with some bows right here. I love that sign by Pam. And then I got the two leaves that I'll put in the back behind my wire to cover them up. So we'll do that. Saving those. All right, let's pull out my easy bow maker. I'm gonna zoom in too, so if anybody has their bow maker and they wanna make a bow with me, we can zoom on in here and you guys can make some bows with me. I'm gonna unplug this glue gun so I don't forget. All right, so this is the ribbon combo that I've selected. Um, so it looks like we're going to do, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to do this black and white. We probably should though because it's got like the sunflowers. Let's try it. We'll see what happens. I should go to Colorado see my family in Colorado too, but I don't know if I will have time this summer. I'm, my summer's already filling up. I am not complaining though. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a very fun summer. Avery's birthday's coming up. Caden's birthday's coming up. My husband's birthday's on Thursday. So, thank you. Alright. I'm just going to do these tails really quick. Alright, hopefully that adjusts for you guys. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. That always happens to me. I find ribbon I love and so I want to use it all. It never fails. Alright. So I did this. 
about 12. Uh, let's do 14 inches. We're going to do 14 inches. If I can count tonight. I was looking at that number and I was like, that doesn't look like 14 because it wasn't, it was 12. <laughs> okay, let me undo this a little bit. All right, I'm gonna come out to the six. I'm gonna press this down, keeping it still loop up. I'm gonna do my twist and push down right there in that center. And then I'm gonna come back down and same thing. Yeah, and then I come back and I have a huge craft show. So when I get back from Montana, I have a craft show on the 15th. Um, and that's my last, well, it might be my last craft show for a little while. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the, the fall boutique. I did it last year, and then I also did the Christmas one. So I haven't decided if I want to, I don't know yet. We'll just have to see what happens here with everything that's going on. So Okay, I'm going to come in with just this burlap now. And these are 14 inch tails, so I'm just going to do this one just a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to trim this up. My craft room is not clean and pretty. I have the mess hiding from you all. It's to fake it, all of you out to think, you, make you guys think I have my stuff together. I don't. <laughs> Everything is piled up over there. I pulled out my Christmas totes. I was watching somebody on a live earlier and then I saw them working with Christmas stuff. So I went and pulled out all my Christmas totes so I could see what I have left over. And now I want to do Christmas stuff. You have a show this weekend? Woohoo! I think Kathy does too. Kathy with uh, Santa, Marta, Santa Marta Designs. She has a craft show too, I think, this weekend. Lots of them out there this week. A good weekend to do it too, right after the holiday. Good weekend. I would think anyway. All right, coming down, making my tails about the same inch, and then cutting it off, doing my tail. Hi, Dawn. I'm currently using our den to do lives. I'm afraid someone will call hoarders on me. <laughs> Crap hoarders. That's funny. I used to do them out of my kitchen. If you guys ever catch some of my old videos, I'm doing them out of my kitchen. My refrigerator is right behind me. I have no shame. I have no shame in that. Wherever you can craft, that's where you craft. You make it work, right? And that's what it's all about. All right, coming in with my one and a half inch ribbon now. And I'm gonna do three loops on each side. I'm gonna make sure these are about the same. It's not. Hi, Polly. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Christy. And then make sure if you guys type in the words live or alert, you guys will be notified when I go live from my bot. Okay, we're gonna do one more straight in the center of these ones. Pulling these over and working with them each time as I do a ne my next loop so that way I can make sure they're spaced out where I want. I will have to go back and fluff again, but at least this way they're staying kind of where I want them to go. And I'm actually gonna pull this one just a little bit shorter. This third one is gonna go just a little bit shorter than the next one, or than the other two, without cutting it off to do another section. I'm just going to leave it. And this tail is much longer. This tail is probably about 18 inches. And I'm not worried about the tails on the, on the green one because I might do something different. Bots, the bot thing is difficult. Hey Debbie! 
Hey, Lucy. Hi, Carol Gray. First time watching from California. Dang, I'm happy to have you. You're pretty close to me, actually. I'm in Utah. My name's Casey. I'm the owner of Lemon Drop Reshop. And I do, um, I make wreaths and I also um, host monthly wreath parties in my area. And I also teach others how to host those parties. I have a private group um, called Creative Event Strategies and that's where I teach others how to host wreath parties or craft parties and add a little extra revenue to their business. I think I have some of my CES members on here right now. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this out, keeping it pinched. And remember what I tell you guys, don't ever pull it out like I do. Mm, not much anymore. It's hard for me to catch lives. I have a lot going on. I try to, so I'll try and hop on and you know, give a quick love and but I haven't been able to catch very many people lately. I got the two littles at home, so sometimes I get pulled away in different directions, but it's life. What do you do? All right, I'm just fluffing this out, and then as soon as I get it placed, I'm gonna stick my, oh, that's not a zip tie. I'm gonna grab a zip tie. Okay, we're gonna grab another zip tie. Place it right to the back. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna tight in this up a lot. Yes, it gets so busy. Rachel's part of my CES group. Rachel's been doing wreath parties before though, before she got in my group. So she's been doing wreath parties before that. And then she joined my group just to hear what I had to say. <laughs> Mom, can I play some strange cheese? No! Dawn's been waiting for this the whole time and now she's gone and you, now you ask for a string cheese? You're not having a string cheese. You're not having a string cheese. Get over it. No string cheese. Alright, here's our bow, guys. Will you back up, please, so I can see what's going on? Alright, here's our bow. Let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit. Hello? Where's our bow? Well, what what can I not hear? Because no one's talking to me. It's not like a Zoom call, Avery. It's a Facebook Live where I do all the talking. And everyone text you? Oh, Dawn's still here, and now I owe her a dollar. Because you gotta come down and ask for a dang snack. Every time, though, right? Every single time. I don't think we'll find one live where she doesn't come and ask for a snack. Hey guys, you want to see how long my hair is? Avery, do you see my pliers? They're turquoise. Yellow? Turquoise. Blue? Green? <laughs> Yes, can you bring those to me? Mm -hmm. This is stuck. Thanks. Why do you need that? Because it's stuck right here. Like I have pink ones too. Johnny got me pink ones. They're in my toolbox, which is out in the garage because I forgot it. You guys are cracking me up. Snack time. Have you guys seen her um toolbox yet? Have they seen it? I don't think they have. I don't. I don't know if I showed it or not yet. Oh, I can show it to you. I'll I think it's it. in the garage. I'll go get it. I said the most pokey thing, things three times. Okay, I will clean my craft room just for your feet. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks for being kind to her. I appreciate it. Yep, that's one thing about watching me. A child might run in. I might have to pause, but it's real life. What do you do, right? And sometimes real life is just fun. Okay. 
So this tail is just a little too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curl it. Just curl it. So it just drapes down there. We're trying to get her to quit snacking so much so she'll eat more. Because what she's doing is she's like saying that she's full after dinner and then within like 15 minutes, probably when I, by the time I get done cleaning up dinner, she's all of a sudden hungry again. And so I'm like, okay, well then you need to eat dinner. And then she's like, I don't want to eat the dinner. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, do you hear her? Clean your craft room, mom. Yeah, she totally just told me. She told me. All right. I can't find it. It's out in the garage in that box. I can't. I was looking through it and there's nothing. That's all right. I'll go get it in a minute. Okay. I don't need it right now. Yeah. Hey, they're all laughing at you, by the way. For well, they're not laughing at you. They're laughing with you about you stepping on stuff and saying I need to clean my room. And then I am told because of how sweet you are that you should get a string cheese. So if you want to get a string cheese, you may have one string cheese. But this is the last time you can get a string cheese. Last time forever. Yeah. I don't even have it to have them for snacks. You can have it for snacks, but I, I really want you to start eating more dinner okay. instead of eating string cheese. This will be the last time I'll eat it for the night. Okay. Can I color still on my little yellow table? Yes, absolutely. Thanks. I'm not in the paint on that rug. Right? Kay. No, we're not painting. Okay. Is it okay if I cuddle this, my puppy? Yeah. My favorite. Why do you ask if you can cuddle your puppy? That is weird, Avery. You're a silly girl. Puppy's my favorite. I oh, know. I'm show it to Where I go? Guys, you want to see my puppy? It's just a stuffy. Did you guys all see Kali's new dog? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't so see cute. it. Yes, you did. You watched it with me on the live last night. Oh, right. Guess what? That dog was so cute. Okay. Bye, Mom. So here is the bow, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with my tails yet. We're just going to let them hang out for a second and see what's going on. So. I'm not loving this bow yet, though. There we go. I think I'm going to cut these tails. They just hang and then we'll trim these ones too. Alright, let's make a couple bows and let's see. So here's what it's looking like so far, guys. Super cute, right? Something simple for someone that has that doesn't like a huge wreath, just something a little bit simpler. The bow is gorgeous, dang. This one does not want to curl very much. Thank you. She was supposed to make a wreath with me tonight. I'm kind of bummed that she didn't want to do it. She said she did earlier, and then she's like, no, I'm too tired, I want to go to bed. So I put her to bed, and then of course I come down here, and all of a sudden now she wants to come down here. But we had a project picked out for her to do. Okay, I'm liking it now, more. Let's do another bow right here, and then a bow right there. So let's do two more bows. I'm just going to slide this, I'm grabbing my easy bow maker, I'm going to zoom back in for you guys. Saving zip ties because they're liquid gold. Alright, 
this time we're going to do same combo, but I'm just going to not do the blue, black. Yeah, Bab. B A B. Yeah, and if some of you guys are on here that want to learn how to make bows, if you guys go over and join my Bab group, which is called Badass Bows or Bab, um, there's tons of wreath makers in there with me. Um, Dawn is in there with me from Dawn's Decor, Door Decor. She's in there. Who? Oh, she's on the live right now. Dawn's in there with me. I have a few others that are in there with me. Brenda from Busy Bees Creations in there. Um, there's a few of them in there. Amanda with um, a Lori Jacobs, I think, is in that group now. I think she joined too. So we have quite a few people in that group. But we tr we're going to try and do some more. Woo! We're going to try and do some more bow stuff in there. So it will be fun. Hey, Rebecca. You're up late. All right, so I'm just coming back over. Thanks, Jonathan, I appreciate that, especially from you, you're so amazing. You guys know my hubby, Jonathan? He's not really my husband, we just joke. He is like a bunch of wives. Perfect, we got some people asking to join BAB already. And we'll get to those as soon as I'm done unless uh, another admin beats me to it. And then just make sure you guys join from a personal page and not a business page because we don't accept business page ads, just personal. Because you don't have to be a wreath maker to join. You can just be a, a creative person that wants to learn how to make bows or you can be a bow maker that wants to make bows. What does that mean, Marianne? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jonathan, you lie. <laughs> but thank you. <sighs> All right, coming back around, guys. All right, Haley, when I get back from my vacations and stuff, we will have to get together before school starts. It's pretty time consuming, so we'll have to. But if your mom lets you watch YouTube, um, he's not from Utah, but that's funny. Thank you, though. Um, have your, uh, if your mom lets you get on YouTube, I have a ton of bow making videos, and so does Lori Jacobs, hardworking mom. She has a ton of bow videos, too. And she's a good resource to watch too, just in the meantime, so that we can at least get the hang of it. But I can for sure help you, honey. Haley's the little girl that lives across the street. Marianne, that's a joke that we play on each other. We say, we call each other sister wives for Jonathan, but it's not legit, it's just a joke. And I don't even know how it started. be completely off. That's how, that's how awesome the joke is. We don't even know how it started. Do you know how it started? Jonathan, do you remember how that all started? I think it's because I got jealous that you were hanging out with Amanda or that you were talking to Amanda. Join Bab, Jonathan. I'm going to work on really hard over the next few months to get that group where I want it with my other friends that are in there. That's really funny though. I don't blame you, Mary. That was funny. I laughed. I laughed inside. Did it start? Yeah, I think so too. I think that's what happened. Amanda said that she loved him more than me and then I like did not have that. <laughs> it's just a joke though. <sighs> Crack me up.
All right, so what I had, what I did was, ooh, that twisted weird. What I did, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out where I want these tails to go. Oh, good. I'm glad you're there. So what I had done is I did two, and then I did two, but I cut them off so I could get four tails. So I had done two on each side, but I cut them off. So there'd be one and one, cut it off, and then start it again, and then do two with the same ribbon. And then I did two loops on this top. And when I make bows, I don't really, I don't really know like a plan until I get going or until I see the space and see what I want to do. And sometimes I know how many loops I want to do, but for the most part, I just like the bows. So I just try and make, just try and do the bows. Hey, Susie Brown. All right, sticking my little zip tie through here. Can you guys say hi to Susie Brown? All right, tying that really tight because I don't want that bow to come apart. Cutting that off and then I'm just gonna swivel this so you won't even see it. And then this is the bow. It's all crazy right now, but when we get this all rocking and rolling, we might have to trim some of these tails down just a little bit, but it should be okay. Oh, I lied to you guys, I did four. So I did two loops on each side. Um. So you guys can uh, do, so I did on this one, I did uh, four loops, so two loops on each side, and then I did the same thing, two loops, two loops, but I cut them off so I would have two sets of tails, and then I did the green with two loops, and then I'm going to do something else really quick, I don't like this, how long that is. I might trim these tails up a little bit, but see how fun these, these other khaki, um, or tan, whatever you want to call it. Um, plaid is with this bow. Oh yeah, you can use zip ties too. I only use cable ties when it comes to the pro bow, the hand. That's the only time I ever use wire. And then I use zip ties for pretty much every, every other bow maker. And then if I'm doing it by hand, I try and do it. Um, I'll probably do with by hand, I'll do a Chanel stem because um, it's easier for me to pinch it with my fingers. So, and we're going to stick this one right here. So I'm just going to take this. I already know where I want it to go. So the whole point is feeding it through all these twigs. All right. Maybe. Come on, you little devil. a pain in the butt. Dang. Alright. Now let's just fluff this out. See, we're going to trim these tails. They're just too long. So we'll just trim them a little bit. Not too much on these ones. Though. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Susie. My sign is from Personalize It by Pam, and it's super cute. It's got this star. Well, I guess you can kind of see it in the picture. It's got that cute star on there. And then I'm not, I don't know if I'm loving this green bow, but we'll see what happens here. I wanted it to be kind of more of a simpler neutral tone, so that way it could appeal to anybody that has taste, like anyone's taste, I guess. And then I did all of the tails on this one with the dovetail. So then we'll just come over here and alternate this so there's no open spaces. And I might curl these like that. I just curled that one the wrong way. And then I think we should put I think I'm gonna flop this bow. I might even move it. We'll see here. Let's see. I really like the long tails flowing through the Hey Carly Young, you're up late. Maybe I should just trim them just a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Tough call. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. So I decided to cut them. Night, Susie. Thanks for hopping on. All right. All right, here we go, guys. I am such a night owl. Oh, Carla, I'm going to remember that. Guys, guess what I did for the first time in like forever? And please don't laugh at me because I'm pretty proud of myself. I worked out, literally watched my workout video and did all of it. And my stomach muscles are killing me. <laughs> so to stand up and to sit down is kind of hurting. So if you guys see me go, oh, it's because it hurts. I found this awesome workout video on YouTube and I've been doing it. And she's kicking my butt. <laughs> I forgot to glue those leaves down so I'll have to glue these leaves down. I might put like a tiny little um, bow right there. So let's do that.
like super tiny. I don't want a very long tail at all. I know, that's why, like, I'm trying so hard because I just, ugh, I want to lose weight. So I'm trying really, really hard. I'm going to try and do the bow that Lori did, you guys, without twisting. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, gosh. See, I naturally want to twist. So she just holds it between her thumbs. She did this on YouTube last night. I will totally send you the link. She whooped my butt, and she's got tattoos everywhere. Oh, I like her. I don't know what her name is, but I really like her. All right, so Lori did this bow last night. Lori from Hardworking Mom did this bow on a Facebook Live last night. And um, she's just taking it without doing the twist. And so it's just pinching it in between your thumbs without doing the twist. So what you do is you come forward and you just loop it back and you keep going. But I'm going to stop on this one and then we will. Except for I probably should do it on this hand instead of that other hand because it would be so much easier for me. So. Copy it. All right, so you're holding it like this. Maybe, if you guys can see me. All right, so you're holding it like this and we're just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna just pinch this to start and instead of doing the twist to come back around, I'm just going to come back around and pinch it in there. And so it's just sitting between my thumbs. Okay, and then I'm coming back around again Again, just pinching in my thumbs. So there's two loops already. And then how to make, see if they're even, you just bring them up together. They're even now. And then I'm gonna take the zip tie We'll see how this turns out. So far, so good, guys. All right, and then let's just stretch these out. I don't need a very big bow because it's just going to fill in right here. Cute! I did it! It might not be as pretty as hers, but I totally did it. I got something on my face. It's scratching me. All right. But you guys, you'd be so proud of me. No Red Bull today, and I had no soda. And I've been trying so hard on the Red Bull since a bunch of um, a bunch of people told me what that they've seen kids have heart attacks drinking them and stuff. And I don't want to have a heart attack. I got two babies to raise here so I definitely don't want to be having a heart attack so I tried very hard to not drink a Red Bull today and it's very hard because my husband bought me one yesterday when he went to the gas station and I told him I said I'm starting my diet or I'm starting my thing you know gonna lose weight and he believed me but he didn't believe me you know like he didn't want to like be like yeah right because he doesn't want to hurt my feelings but he didn't believe me. No way. I showed him. I'll be all cute and skinny before too long, right? If I keep it up. It's my thing, my motivation. What motivates you guys if you work out? How many of you guys that are watching work out? And if so, what do you do? Do you run? Do you walk? Do you do a video? Do you do a program? I have some friends that did keto. I don't think I could ever do keto. I would starve. Probably the point of it, all right? <laughs> all right, the 
only thing I don't like is this tail, but that's because I haven't cut it yet. Alright, there's that. Not too bad, right? Just a cute little bow. A little dinky bow. I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to grab a baby zip tie. You stay there. We're going to sit this Carly, you could totally copy that message and use it. Okay. Oh my gosh, I miss riding a bike. I used to ride a bike all the time when I lived in Stansbury. All the time. Well, because like if we wanted to go to Maverick, you might as well have gotten on the bike or take the golf cart instead of wasting gas in the car. Because like we lived really close to Maverick. So. Alright guys, I think she's done. Hopefully it stayed this simple like I wanted. And not too out of control with all these bows. But... Kind of cute. Oh, sorry guys. Kind of cute, right? There we go. And then I'll get a little bit closer for you guys. So you guys can see. Super cute. Okay, this will be up on Etsy in just a couple minutes. As soon as we get off here, it'll be up on the Etsy. 45 for this bad boy. And I only have one because I only have the one sign. So 45 for this. Alright. Oh, sorry guys. I totally lost you right there. Alright. You guys have a good day. You guys can purchase on Etsy, my website. You guys can message me either one. But there's the, we will, yep. So we'll see you guys probably, I probably won't see you guys till later, so. Um. Yeah, so we will, I'm not even deal with that right now. Not even go there. Somebody just sent me in. No, All right. Okay, you guys have a good night. Um, and then Thursday is Joe's birthday, so I won't be live on Thursday. So you guys will probably see me Friday, probably on my drive to Montana. Um, probably do something there. So, oh, thank you, Carla. Thank you, Don. You guys all have a good night. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm trying to end my live on the wrong thing. Hello, Casey. Go to your Mevo. All right. Okay, you guys have a good night, be safe, and then I will um, talk to you guys all in the morning. See ya!